Hidden Object Guru here with Haunt New Game Star Renegades. I've been psyched to show this off for you uh, ever since I played it last month, but it was still under embargo, so I was not allowed to do that. As you can see, it looks gorgeous. Shockingly so. Uh oh. It's a lady in power armor with a laser sword. So yes, audience, all of your dreams are coming uh, true at once. God bless you, animators. You do such good work. I'm not going to say you make me inconceivably happy, but you know. I'm a big fan. Uh-oh. What's in the secret cave of goo? Could it be her long-lost mother? Who got cyborgized? What a twist! Well, that seems to have given away a lot of the plot. Alright, let's do it. Oh, hi, Wesley. We're going to be playing on normal difficulty, or easy if they have one, because we're not going to waste a ton of time. Yeah, I had to play a preview version of this. I tried to download it. I was not psyched about that. But, uh, you know. It's on Steam now, and that's what counts. What the hey? Oof. Wow, that enemy battle cruiser is not screwing around. Though we are getting terrifying frame rate issues. I was just going to mention that. Absolutely not something usual. Uh-oh. These guys can't catch a break. Well, they're up against essentially necromongers. So what did you think was going to happen? You guys had the worst religion. Okay, here we go. Yeah... Damn. Now, this is some of the best pixel art I've ever seen in my life. Uh-oh. Yikes. Alright, quickly to the train station. Oh, check out. We can examine our, uh, starfighter. For what reason? I don't know. Hey, it's a citizen. They have not fixed the pathing. So, as you'll see, I want to walk here. And she's okay at getting me there, but what if I want to walk... Okay. So, sometimes the pathing works and sometimes it doesn't. Good to know. Alright, huh. Oh. Feel it and see, I want to walk over there, but it doesn't know how to get me there. Because the game doesn't do any pathing. It just tries to walk you in a straight line and can get you a little around obstacles, but not much. Aww. You people are the worst. I'm not saying your planet deserves to get blown up, but you do seem like the worst. Okay, I thought there was a citizen here. To oh, there we go. Aw, I think people are... You know there's a giant uh, monster ship attacking right now. 
Here we go. Uh, not yet, Maddie. Uh, sorry, not yet, Horror King. Remind me over Twitter, would you? Alright, so. Now you see the hand-to-hand -hand combat in this game, which is deeply cool. Alright, so. We always... The, the hit, the cool thing about this game is that you always know what the enemies are going to do. So you can plan accordingly. So, if you hit them before uh, they're going to attack, their attack happens, not only right, do you get the crit bonus, which is 18 bonus damage, 3 bonus armor break, but you knock them back on the timeline. Theoretically, you could knock someone into the next time zone. Wait, what's happening? Oh, right, yes. Uh... weird that I'm... Okay, there we go. Don't know what happened there. Uh, yes. You can knock them into the next turn. Ow. Which means they never get to do a move. Well, that turn. Exactly. So, now I'm going to show that off. So, the cleave hits later, but the slash hits earlier. So, now you're going to see it push him backwards... He'll still get a move this turn, but I'll hit him first and do the bonus damage. See? Knocked him back 10 seconds. Or maybe more, I should check that. Whoa! That did look painful, not gonna lie. Damn right you will. Yeah. So here it comes. Yeah, so you, uh, you can break them with a hue, because as you see, the hue knocks them back 30 seconds. By the way, each timeline is 60 seconds, so you can see it's broken up into six sections, each 10 seconds long. So he's 10, 20 seconds away from the end, so by hue, doing hue, I will knock him out of this turn, and he won't be able to attack until next turn. It's a very neat system. Nice. It should, shouldn't it? And now, in the next turn, I can slash. Oh, you can only knock them back. See that one there? That's how many times you can knock them back during a turn. Uh, some have one, two, three, and so you can't just hammer guys indefinitely and make them never have a move. At a certain point, that will get down to zero, as you can see, and then they can't be moved back any further. So you cannot just juggle guys indefinitely. Take that, you jerk. This game has literally the best pixel art I've ever seen in my life. Such great animation, such great character design. They've done an incredible job. That's right, they have teleporters. Okay. Titan Hand! Check it out. There's all sorts of giant robots buried all around this, uh, as you can see, place. Do I know what they're for or what they do? No! But I'm excited about finding out. It's a flamethrower, dude. The, uh, first I heard about this game. Oh, I'm sure. Adorable. Alright, so as you can see, he's already right up next to the end, so if I just do the cleave, it'll knock him into break mode. Ta-da! As a tutorial, this thing is fantastic. Oh no! I didn't knock him into break! Well, that's embarrassing. No, it didn't. Ah, here we go. All attacks have a core damage. Light, normal, heavy, flurry, AoE, counter, and combo. Wow, that's too many. So what you do is, you check what they're weak against by going here. Right. Where does it say what he's weak against? Hmm. It's weird that I can't look... Oh, inspect units, that's it. Okay. Uh, Alright, so he's weak against normal and light attacks. So what you want to do is... Go into your attacks and see, that's a... Uh, applied non-effect, bleeding... It. Oh, there we go, that's a light attack, so he's weak against that normal attack. 
have a normal defense. So we know this is a light attack, so he's definitely weak against it. So it will do bonus damage. Also, we're going to put him into break because it gets a 30 second kick. Creepiest horror game I've ever played. I'm going to have to think about that. Maybe one of the Fatal Frames or Project Zero, as you people know them. They're very creepy. Will a Slash actually get another break? It will. Nice. But this will make it run out of breaks. Again, every time he attacks, it resets his uh, how many breaks he can have. Boom. So at a certain point, you just can't break them anymore. And that is the trick to do. Knock him into the next turn, then defend, and you're, you're safe. Oh, damn, that looks good. My shields are down. Uh-oh, this is problematic. I still got a ton of health. Okay. Zorbi for two amount of armor they have. Okay. Our attacks that can cause armor damage on a crit display the amount of armor damage done in the attack details. Gotcha. Alright, so... Now you just hit Sunder, which as you can see does... Well, I actually can't really see. So. Uh, eight. Yeah, that font was a weird choice. So that has crippled his armor and knocked him back a frame. Alright. And again, he's weak against normal attacks. Oh, check it out! It's telling you it's a kill shot, so you know you don't have to worry about uh, him getting a comeback. Because there doesn't seem to be a big random element to the fighting where he can, you know, you can accidentally roll too low and not get the da do the damage on him you expected to. Uh-oh. Alright, time to go turn on those... Uh, turn on those guns! No. Yeah, this is another weird system in the game. There's like... Every map is broken up into areas, and you have to click on a specific area to walk between areas. It's the one truly strange thing about the uh, game's movement. Well, that and its inability to do complex pathfinding. You should! Project Zero is 3 is cool. Alright, let's do it. Oh no! Yeah, that was a bad deal. Oh no! It's a harbinger. The basilisk. Okay, inspection mode. And this is, I've already shown off this, so you can just inspect him. Which is definitely not working. You're supposed to do inspecting units. No? It's not letting me expect that unit. That's a weird thing for it to do. Okay, I had to be... You know, I'm not even going to question what I was supposed to do there. So, traits. Ah! No defense against heavy, but super defense against light. Also, he shoots laser eyes that do obscene amounts of damage. And have a solid crit bonus, so don't get critted by him. Like, at all. He has 157 points of armor. In case you're wondering, no, you're not supposed to win this fight. Alright, so, he's weak against heavy attacks, so let's see if we have a heavy attack. Oh! So what you can do is, right, you're gonna have this guy find a, uh, a thing to knock him back. Obviously it has to be uh, easy enough to attack him early. So then that, that'll knock him back to there, so then with her... Sorry. Yeah. Oh, I had to confirm the move. Sorry. So then you, with her... Oh, Cleave's still to... Uh, sorry, my bad. I thought it was going to knock him back farther. Alright, well, we'll just do the Sunder then. Yep. Oh, 
Oof, nice. Double crits. I'm not too worried about the strategy here again, because, as I said, we're supposed to lose this fight. For plot reasons. Alright, so you hear us generate fury by landing crits and breaks. So crits can generate one fury, while breaks generate three. Ooh, fancy. And uh, different moves will cost different amounts of fury, and we'll always tell you. See, for example, the Cyphex Slam, because they're both Cyphexes, cost 22. Okay. So let's do it. Oh, it costs 26. Why did it say 22 in the... You know what? Why am I questioning this? All right, so uh, that's a flurry attack, AoE, vivisect is heavy. So he's going to vivisect, which will put that guy into break. And she's going to cleave, which will also hurt him a lot. Nice. Sorry you got broke, my friend. And now you don't even have shields. Bad luck for you. So now we're free to do the Cyphex Slam, which is the men the combo move mentioned earlier. As you can see, knocks him back 20 seconds, but he can't because he's got zero uh, breaks left until he next attacks. And he's going to do his Laser Storm Kill Shot. That is, that is not good. I mean, it's a lot of damage, but uh, will it be enough? Wait, this isn't the guy you're supposed to lose to? Or have they changed it since the demo? Oh, this is the guy you're supposed to lose to. Sorry, my bad. Aww. Oh, damn. Well, this is problematic. So, as always, what you want to do is inspect units, click on him, find out what he's weak against. The answer is nothing. He's a Herald of Mother. So this is going to go badly. Uh, let's see, what knocks him back the most? Well, let's start with her, because I know she's got that Q move that knocks dudes back a ton. Oh, yeah, there you go. All right. Come on, Davion. And again, he's weak against nothing, so it literally doesn't matter what I do to him. So Vivisect should crit him right into a break. Boom! Yeah, he got broken. Lessons were learned. So as you can see... Of course defend can't be delayed. How could it? Uh, this guy has, and I can't stress this enough, inspect units. There we go. Uh, 2,000 hit points and 2,000 shields. As a joke, both of them are set to 1984. Like the book! So again, we're not supposed to win this fight. Uh, it's sad, but what are you going to do? Uh, we're going to play like we're trying to defend now. If we're going to be strategic and defend and try and smarten up, but no. Uh, you're not allowed to withdraw is the problem. Alright, so you want to crit. Blade does not knock him back at all during the crit, which is weird. Okay. Vivisect indeed. As you'll notice... We're trying to do these awesome moves. Uh, yeah, that's fine. But he's just charging up a super attack, and more importantly, he can't be knocked back anymore for narrative reasons. So do as much damage as you want. You're not going to win this fight. Oh! That was a thousand points of damage. That seems excessive to me. But who am I to judge? He's the bad guy. Oh, no! Yep. And check this out. So now that you part, we get to the part of the game that is ripped off of, or, you know, 
inspired by the uh, Shadow of Mordor games. Oh, excuse me. So check it out. Leaders, behemoths, and adversaries. Time to time, you'll be brought uh, here to witness events that such as deaths, promotions, introductions. Uh, witness events such as deaths, promotions, introductions within or or introductions or and introductions within the Imperium. You can also you can also access the Imperium throne room directly from the main menu. Ooh. Adversaries are elite soldiers. Yep. And there you go. They have unique personalities, so they're doing the exact same system. They can promote and evolve and grow strong, uh, stronger whenever they're able to defeat you. Ooh. And they give you reward crates. I'm a little worried about crate-based rewarding. There you see, there's the evil mother who apparently is literally this main character's mother. Be a weird choice. Omega Behemoth does not sound good. So Dagan, Lieutenant Dagan, Commander, and this is Norosh, and this is Menku. Okay. And the Herald works directly for the mo for Mother, who again is probably your character's mother, given that opening movie. Alright, check this out. This was my favorite part of the demo, which we're just replaying, but this time for an audience. Boop. Giant lab she's got. Oh, his name is Justin. All right, let's do it. Ah, uh, yeah, as you're saying, I can't just click here. You have to have click on the part of the door that you move through, which is here. That's the same plot twist you always think is going to happen, Horror King. Although, if you guess the same thing every time, you're going to be right every now and then. Aww. Mad scientist, we love you the most. Okay, check it out. Aww. So the answer is... Barking dog, happy smiley face thing, barking dog. You're weird, Justin. Here it comes. Oh, you'll see, Pedro. You'll see. Aww. You ready for the twist? Aww. That's right, we're at Davion's funeral. No one is psyched about it. Well, no one that I know of. Damn right. Yay! That's right! You were sent by, uh, her from another dimension. It's moving from dimension to dimension, conquering each one in order. T 
tell me about the plan. I love task forces. Alright, so. As you can see, that's the SS Eternal. Fun fact, the ISS Eternal is based on the ship from, uh... Oh god, uh, Black Hole. A space cathedral, if you will. And you can say, well, isn't it just Warhammer uh, 40,000? Yeah, they were also ripping off the Black Hole. Oh, So, as you can see, enraged when hit with a counterattack. So, don't counter him. He has weak versus antimatter damage and normal attacks, which kind of makes him sound like a wuss. So, we're going to find and kill Rixar Perry, which is a pretty great name, I'm not going to lie. Over here. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. So we've arrived on Menku. Those are the our draw pods. Oh. Aww. We've got teams! The saboteur, I assume the thief class of this world. Aww, he said boyo, as if he's from the Midlands. And we've also got a robot on our team! Kobe. Also, he worships a space robot. That's valid. Alright. Damn right you will. Funda Metalist. That's actually very funny. So, you can go south or you can go north. Either way, you get into a bunch of fights and find a bunch of stuff. I went north when I played uh, the demo, so we're going to see what south has to offer. So this guy, you can scan the enemies to find out what their moves are. So this guy is planning to use auto fire, which does 47 points of damage. Ouch. This guy is planning to steal our shields. Oh my god. Okay, we better take him down fast. So, as you'll recall... Well, first off, you want to start with him. He has a discharge move that attacks everybody and does 10 uh, seconds of pushback to all of them. So that's good. Oh, wait. We forgot to check what his weakness was. My bad. Uh, so we do inspect units. Boop. He does not have any weaknesses. Neither does he. Well, that's annoying. But, you know, as long as we know. Alright, so as you can see, we're in the real game now, so we don't have access to all of their moves. I'm as sad as anyone about that. Uh, that breaks him. Yep. Alright, now we'll have him. Uh, straight Shot and Blitz, which is a light attack. Applies Crit Effect, Reduce Defense. Nice, and moves them 45 seconds back on the timeline, which is just madness. Boom. Knocked him into the next turn. Knocked him into the next turn. And his shields are down. Nice. Wait, I thought he was knocked into the next turn. I gotta pay closer attention. How come neither of those guys got a break? Did we not knock them into break territory? I'm very confused now. He's gonna distribute shields. That means give people their shields back. Oh, I know what happened. Or do I? Wait, why is that making him move forward? I'm going to bestow shields on her. Yeah, and then we're going to do a straight shot on this guy. 
which can't put him into break. Oh, it's going to kill him, so it doesn't have to put him into break mode. Okay. Cool. Oh, nice. It's important to have someone who can give you your shields back. Ouch. As you can see. Okay, I can now just juggle this guy until he's dead. Because as you can see, he has four pushbacks. Four. That's insane. Yep. So then you go to him. You do straight shot. Pushes him back even farther. Oh, I had them pushed back, but I didn't have them pushed into break. That's what happened. Okay, that's my bad. Oh, that it's... I thought that it's the same plot twist you suggest is going to happen all of the time. So, by law of averages, eventually you're going to be right. Boom! Sorry, pal. Hey, I got a bunch of DNA! So check out how DNA works. It's one of the weird things about this game. Yay! Rixar Perry's here! I love that guy. Wait, hate. I hate that guy. Hey, it's another Titan hand. Oh. All right. Ooh, what's down here? Oh yes, this is just saying you can move from one place to the next. So, ooh, a food dispenser. That sounds like a good place to eat. Camping card reward, ten per. Ooh, max shield, nice. They have card-based bonuses. I didn't know about that. What is that thing? Just part of the scenery. You got depth of field effects. You've got parallax scrolling. I mean, this is some of the best pixel art I've ever seen in my life. You suggest it almost all the time, Horror King. Well, these guys aren't screwing around, huh? So check out what uh, Nodo can do. It's kind of a cool move. So Blitz, he gets to do instantaneously, and it does 45 seconds of pushback. He does it before the turn starts. It's amazing. Alright. Discharge. Hits them both. Also, he doesn't have any moves. And then, uh, cleave this guy into break. That cleave will not take him into break. We'll slash him into break. Cleave is not a great move for that. Boom. Nice. Right into break, my good sir. But now, as you can see, they have the ability to attack you almost instantaneously. Which is why I have this move. But unfortunately, they've got uh, zero pushback left. So it doesn't really matter. They're going to get it. Actually, will they get a shot off? Let's see what her slash does. I might be able to still kill this guy before he gets a shot off. Uh, that'll hit both of them. And... Straight shot? Yeah. There we go. Go for it. Question Awe. Wait, doesn't she get... Oh, no. That's the cannon blast first. Nice. All right, let's finish these turkeys off. How do they still have zero? Hmm, they each did a move. I'm confused. I don't, you automatically get shields back at the end of your turn, and since they're both gonna die this turn, I don't have to worry about that sort of thing. Uh, okay, so that's a kill shot, that's a kill shot. Straight shot should be a kill shot too. Yeah, all right, we're fine, this is over. Uh, Labor Day is a day that uh, we celebrate unions and how they uh, make it bearable to work in North America. That's what Labor Day is. You see, before unions, working in North America was tantamount to slavery, and unions created the middle class. And then Reagan killed all the unions, but we still uh, support Labor uh, We still, well, we still have do Labor Day. Unions. Oh, of course, in Canada, but I'm talking about America, and who started the, the five-day work week Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Pay. They turned it into not slavery. 
work was just slavery until we had unions. That's why uh, businessmen spent all that time trying to murder people who organized unions. Because rich people don't like it when workers have power. There was this thing called the Civil War over that. Uh, whose shields would I like to improve? Well, obviously the Valkyrie, because she's got, you know... Oh, how do we level up? Alright, so when you receive enough DNA, you can use it to level up your heroes. Levels are reset when you turn to the Renegade base and jump to the next dimension. That's the weird part about this game. Apparently we're going to have to fight over and over again in different dimensions? I haven't experienced that yet, because again, I just played the demo. But it seems very interesting. New power or camping cards. Ooh. So do I have enough DNA to level people up? I do. Tell me about this Titan Strength thing. Can attack any position. Nice. Increased damage. Plus 50% damage. Wow. That's a cool power. I have eight. Battle Cry. Okay, and Trick Shot. Can be executed one per combat. Okay, why? Oh, it stuns people. Okay. Meh. And it costs 15 somethings to do. Alright, so, uh, yeah, let's level her up. Nice work, lady. Let's see you in action. Oh, we can check out the Imperium whenever we want. Right, you told me about that. Totally normal you wouldn't uh, have heard a lot about Labor Day. It's not something you guys celebrate there. Although you should. Unions are just as important to uh, uh, England as they are here. Aww. Okay, that's pretty funny. Alright, here we go. We're going to have our boss fight against Rixar Perry. As you can tell, I'm not a fan. Oh, damn. They are ready to go, aren't they? Alright, so let's see how much this pushes them back. Alright, perfect. Alright, now that's... Well, let's inspect them, obviously. Inspect units. Uh, again... Oh, hey, here we go. I've long since forgotten what his powers are. So he's weak against antimatter, weak against normal attacks. And that's Rick Sarperi. Alright, so. Uh, ooh, good move. Alright, so let's see. Uh, that's Rick Sarperi. I can put him into break, no problem. And can this put the other guy into break? No. So I better do the move that puts him into break. Such a good move. I know, right? If your question about was about the horror stuff, then yeah. Fatal Frame. Alright, now as you can see, they both have no more pushback abilities and they're not close to dying. So you want to defend against their attacks this turn. Oh, and you get your shields back every turn, but you do not get your uh, health back every turn. I don't know how to heal yet, heal yet, because it hasn't come up. Damn, he just keeps getting smashed. Didn't you already say that, Rixar Perry? I feel like you already said that. Alright, so. Uh, again, you want to blitz this bad boy into break. Keep him from being able to attack. It's a plan and a half. He doesn't take a lot of damage from that attack, but it does break, uh, put him into break quite easily. Of course, that is what that attack is for. Alright, so Cleave is a heavy attack. He's not strong against them, but he's not weak against them either. So we better just do this. Boom! Oh, he's in bad shape. His armor is broken! Yay! Oh, Rixar Perry is reduced to 50% health. Nice. 
Battle Cry. And it inspires my allies to get uh, plus 50% damage, which is very nice. Alright, so let's do a free attack. Well, not a free attack, but a quick attack. And now let's finish these puppies off. Boom. Uh, obviously discharge. And we're going to kill shot Rixar Parry. Sorry, Rixar Parry. But I'm glad you've now learned a valuable lesson against screwing with OW me. Okay, that was visually awesome. Alright, so let's slash you, cleave you, slash you. Yeah, that should work nicely. And now it doesn't matter what the rest of the attacks are, because he's already got a kill shot. Good question. Not a question for me, of course. Boom! Sorry, pal. You just got done. And toasted. And wrecked. Camping card reward. Defeated adversary lit together? Oh, adversary lieutenant together. Exhaust when used. Nice. Oh. I don't know how to use camping cards, because again, that wasn't in the demo. Oh, nice work. Us. Oh, that's pretty funny. Let's steal some tech from the Imperium. We've got a Reaver chip. Uh, plus 10 damage counterattack. Inflicts extra stagger. Nice. Uh, yeah. Way to go. course. Oh, you're so cute. I agree. Yeah, so just tell me what these camp cards do. Alright, here we go. Camp allows your heroes to rest and gain affection for each other. Nice. Each hero has their own set of camping cards that can play on themselves and other heroes. Camping cards cost action points and grant special status effects. Regen lost health, regenerate lost health, repair armor, and can increase affection between heroes. Gotcha. Action points are shared between all heroes, and cards can vary in their action point cost. Once you use your action cards, your squad will go to sleep. As your heroes gain affection for each other, they strengthen their relation with all conversations and bonuses like... Ooh, combo powers. Nice. That sounds awesome. Okay. Alright, so, now we play the card about how they killed a, uh, a monster together. Right? Alright, you can play Charming Rogue. Attacks Drain Shields. Lots of two combats. Nice. Okay, let's see if you have any more cards. Only got three actions left. Let's check what the cards are. Okay, well, I'd say he needs to heal some health, so let's play that card. Isn't it, though? You should be. Okay. Got two action points left. Oh, cool. We're missing a third uh, squad member. When does that happen? Alright, so what does this do? 
Last, oh, 30% max shields, permanent, exhaust wind, oh, plus 10 max shields, permanent! Yes, please! <clears throat> Wait, I thought that cost two action points. He definitely needs the shields, he is much weaker than the rest. Aww, that was cute. Uh-oh! The rest of the monsters arrived, everybody. Aww. What a messed up dude. Hates Overwatch. Enraged and Overwatch. Don't know what that means. Advanced shield. More shields. Nice. Is he immune to anything? Elite. Okay, we already covered... Oh, okay. Weak against Pyro. Weak against Area of Attack. Weird. Is he the only one I can examine right? No, I can examine the rest. He has no strengths. He has no... Oh, I don't... Or maybe I don't know about him yet. Oh, no. He just doesn't have any traits. Resist combo attacks. Weak versus armor damage. Huh. But he only has two armor points. Oh, he's just a trooper. That would explain why. Oh, it's the guy who hates counters. I love that guy. I love mission updates. Okay. Oh, I see. Oh, well, that's bad. Oh, how adorable. Damn right you can. Nice. Oh, cool. Reach the landing zone and intercept before the planet is destroyed. Wow. To the landing zone, mark the objective mark. If you run out of time, you've got another transport to face the behemoth. That does not sound good. In controlled territory, some areas have an imperial emblem. This be locked down and don't reclaim before the day is over. They will no longer be accessible. Wow. Okay, there's a lot going on in this game. So, how exactly do I move the map? Oh, I just dragged the map around. Okay. So, the goal is to get here, but if I don't get there before the end of the day, I lose that area for good. But I don't know how to get to that area because, you know, this map is very confusing. It has a ton of fights on it. Way to go, game. Alright, so... Do I get to decide? What's this? Armor Station enhances armor. Nice. That's an Imperial Defense. Triggers damage. Contains credits. Nice food dispenser. Has food cards. Okay, I think I have the general sense of this. And we're going to be back for more later. But for now... I've been the Hidden Object Guru. I'd like to thank you for coming on this journey with me. If you had a good time and you'd like to see more, there's buttons for that coming up. Questions, suggestions, related whatnots, go in the comments section below the video. Yay, we leveled up a robot and a robot. Should not have said that. I'm going to see you back here. Uh, yes, right, I already told you about the buttons. So I'll see you back here for more new and upcoming games. But until then, I'm going to say that's right. Au revoir.